meditation is more than sitting taking deep breath and feeling relax it is more than all the things what is more to recognize or have introduction to your own self because we are doing all the things but we don't know who is doing there recognition of the self and how can we do it unless we relax and bring the mind to what has rather than what you don't have mostly people think focus on what they don't have what they have they don't enjoy they don't recognize for them it is not enough they want something more what you want that also they don't know what you more want some say money but there is rich people are there they are not happy somebody will say the big car the people have big car but they are not happy so mind always goes out to think and focus on those things which does not have at the present meditation starts real meditation you come to yourself 
and recognize what you have now. The moment you come to yourself, the mind and the desires or your fantasy are not interfering. Only you are with yourself. And that goes along with the breath. So many people, they meditate on so hum. Who am I? And while inhaling, they so hum, and exhaling, hum, they take out so and hum. So they build rhythm. So the mind does not go out, it engages with the breath, and you are concentrating, okay, who am I? My name is John or Martha or Mary. That is not me. They are given name to me. And I am carrying the tag what is given by my parents or the relatives. It is not my choice. What your name is given to you, they didn't ask you okay, what name should be given to you. So the name which we are carrying whole of the life and fighting for the name is not yours. And what is not yours, and you believe it is yours, what is not yours. So why do you regret when what is not yours is not yours? So name and all the things which we have acquired, they come and go, you know that I have acquired, and they are gone. They are not my real name. Who am I? Then again you come back to yours. And ask again and again. Is there any name to it? It is a feeling. And the feeling is, I am alive. An aliveness one has to experience, not to show that I am alive. Many people go out and they prepare and they become alive. They apply some uh, some artificial thing and make alive. But when they are alone, they are lousy. They are tired. They are uh, so. It's a dichotomy, in and out, out and in, in and out, out. So as soon as the subject want to show, nobody should know that when you are alone, you are not happy. That way, our whole life, if you watch, go on showing. And in the end, nothing matters. He became a billionaire or he became a president, it matters nothing. It's gone. Gone forever. As they change the calendar, in the same way they change the photo and a name and everything, an account and everything. So why should we not know and experience who am I? And there you say, I am. So I am able to think, feel, experience, and enjoy. The moment I am not all this function, I cannot see, ear cannot hear, mouth cannot speak, hand cannot touch, they are all working because of one, and that because you are breathing. You are taking oxygen. 
you are taking prana. And prana we cannot see with the eyes. We cannot hold the breath as a deposit for tomorrow. You can have oxygen, oxygen tank, but not you can breathe for tomorrow. You cannot keep yesterday breath also. It is every moment it is fresh. So one has to feel that I am, because of my presence, I am breathing. So I am alive. And if I am alive, if I don't identify with other things, then I will enjoy what I am. But if I go on comparing with somebody, I am putting myself up or down. So when you see poor person, you feel little ri richer. And when you see very rich man, you feel poor. So continuously up and down we are going. Once you get experience, I am life. And there is no comparison. You be friend with all, appreciate what they have, not from the comparison, but from appreciation. And then you will be able to see other people's virtues, quality, because you are not comparing. But if we compare and somebody is better, then in order to feel safe, you are going to find out some fault. People say this person is very good, but if you are comparing, then you will find out what is bad, what is wrong, what is lacking. Appreciate. The first thing is to recognize. And second thing is not compare yourself with anybody. No comparison. In psychology also, they say comparison is inviting trouble and a problem. The moment you compare, there is either inferiority or superiority. Comparison always depends upon this thing. No compare. I am I. And that person is there. Then we go on that way. The second thing it comes. And okay, if I, I am there, but it is called Sat. In Sanskrit, Sat means is. I am Sat. Sat means existence. Aliveness. And who experiences that? It is called chit. Chit means knowledge, consciousness. So I am, and I am consciousness. I have consciousness. Because table is there, the chair is the, here, the book is here, but it does not have consciousness. It is there. The book does not know. The chair does not know. It's an object. But we know okay, who am I. So, sat chit. Chit means knowledge, consciousness, awareness, recognition. All these different, different ways to see one has to accept that I am consciousness. So one becomes conscious of the consciousness, aware of your existence, aware of your knowledge. And you have that, and you have, and you are able to use it. You focus. 
not on what you don't have, but focus on what you have. So when we focus on what we have, we are bringing the light to the focus. So take some time, even sitting near the river or near the ocean or in the garden, and be alone. I am. And I am able to experience myself. I am alive. I can breathe. The nose is not breathing. It is an instrument. It is your presence. Is capable to make the nose active to breathe. So, nose is an instrument. The energy, which is because of the energy, we are using this instrument and we see with the eye. Eye are the magnifying, since so they make the small world very big. You can see it is, our eyes are so small. And at the same they, they, they can see the whole world. So our eyes can magnify the whole world. And they themselves are very small. And you can see in the small eye, you can see the whole world. You can see near the ocean, you can stand. Whole ocean you can see and with the small eye. It is a magnifying energy in us. So the wonder what we say, my eye has so much capacity. It can see minutely. And I can see the beauty. I can see the best thing. So your attention now changes. Wherever you see goodness, you go for that. So your choice is not with a bad thing. If somebody talks something bad thing, you don't want to insult. Lovingly you say, let us change the subject. Without telling him, okay, don't, don't talk gossip, no. Okay, let us change the subject. Because your whole choice now Go with the goodness, not to see any bad thing, ugly thing, leave it. But because they don't know, so they always go to gossip, talk something behind the person, and all the negative thing they go on taking in their own mind. How many useless negative things? We have filled in our neuron. I am wondering how people manage to live because they sit in front of the TV and the TV people always they bring out all these dirty things in the world, what politicians are doing, how doing, the country is doing. All these two opposite parties are putting each other down and bringing the nation to the dog. <laughs> but what you are doing? Putting your Democrat or Republican, both belong to this country. And if you go on hitting each other, whom are you hurting? You are hurting your own nation because they don't know what they are doing, their nation. So slowly, slowly, we bring what the good thing down because of our unawareness. Once you become aware of your quality of consciousness, you don't go for bad things. 
सो इन संस्कृत विषय सत्यम शिवम सुंदरम सत्यम शिवम सुंदरम सत्यम मीन्स द ट्रूथ सुंदर मीन्स ब्यूटी एंड शिवम मीन्स गुडनेस ट्रूथ ब्यूटी एंड गुडनेस इट इज योर चॉइस वेर एवर दिज द ट्रूथ आई एम देयर वेर एवर सिर्फ द ब्यूटिफुल गुड आई अप्रिशिएट नॉट टू पजेस appreciate at my admiration the moment you have the possessiveness you are destroying you are destroying yourself and making that suffocate beauty is to admire not be possessive if you go in a garden the flower is blossoming you appreciate but you pluck and take with you in 3 hours it will wither away because you became possessive you took the flower for yourself you did not keep for the universe the possessiveness is making the things to wither to die so the second thing is सत्यम शिवम सुंदरम ट्रूथ ब्यूटी एंड गुडनेस दीज आर माई चॉइस सो सत्य मीन्स वेर एवर देर इज अ ट्रूथ यू एक्सेप्ट इट यू डोंट गो इट इज इट बिलोंग्स टू इंडियन और आफ्रीकन और जूज और क्रिश्चियन दैट शो द पर्सन इज नॉट watching consciousness the moment you bring the caste creed religion you are hurting yourself and a person who is hurting oneself is going to hurt others because the person who has separated from the beauty and truth and goodness so the opposite uh, not quality but the opposite evil things will come to us instead of satyam we go to a, to a lie instead of sundaram you go to ugliness and instead of shivam goodness you go become bad so this way second thing what we have is to sat chit and ananda ananda means always keep the smile eyes and yourself pleasant happy because you are a human being billions of the life are there they are not able to be human being you can see people in africa in developing countries people don't have food in the evening i have visited some homes in india the mothers cry and the children are starving and the mother says what can i cook there is no money there is no food and my children are crying ke mom give me something the vessel is empty people's condition we don't know but we with so much wealth and prosperity we are not happy so the moment you realize you will not make one minute unhappy and whenever you are unhappy question it that is meditation ke why i am unhappy but 
because of your thoughts, they start climbing on you. So you will not be able to come out. So you have to get out. Go for a walk. Start jogging. Go on dancing. Do something. If you go on brooding on negative thought, they start climbing on you. They put you down. You will not be able to come out. So a real meditator is watching that my consciousness, Sat Chit and Anand, anything which is covering Anand, I don't need it. Because if I don't enjoy Anand, who will enjoy it now? The poor people, some did not have freedom, people don't have food, they don't have a shelter, and they are suffering. I have everything. I have food to eat. But he say, I am worried about tomorrow. But how do you know, say, tomorrow you will be here, or where you will be somewhere else? We are traveler, my friend. We don't know tomorrow. Recently I was uh, in Houston, and from Houston I went to Tulsa. Tulsa. So it's a small town, and there are 20 families, uh, Tulsa. So one student is very devotee. So she asked me that you are vegan. So tell me tomorrow what can I especially uh, cook? You are going to come for lunch. So what shall I cook? And I will cook all the vegan food, but I want to cook what you like. I say, I can't tell now, <laughs> because you are asking about tomorrow. And uh, at night, I think I want to go out from. I will be in another world. And who will come to eat tomorrow? Or you prepare for me. So I, ha I will have to, I have to stop the journey or my hanket because I have to come and eat because I have told her to cook something. I will not be free. We are traveler, my friend. Anytime we can go. Anytime. Live by the day. Don't worry about tomorrow. But Worry of tomorrow should not spoil your today. And most of the people, not they think of tomorrow, they think of months and years. They think what, after five years what will happen. In the same way, if the dollar is going down, and what will in five years, where will we be there? They don't know that tomorrow where will be there. So the richness of the day, the beauty of the day, the gift of the day, what we have, we don't enjoy. Meditator enjoys. Leave it, but go, let it go. And one day he's going to go. Don't worry about it. It is not yours. And what is not yours is not yours. So why should you worry when yours is not yours? Why you worry? But we have put our seal on what is not ours. It is mine. Nothing is mine. It is just to enjoy. There was a man 
who was understanding this philosophy, Satyam Sivam Sundaram. Satchit Anand, he under, understood. So, somebody gave him a beautiful white horse because he was a very good man. He helped a, a prince of the town and he was very happy and he gave him a white horse, very tall. So this man, next day, riding on the horse, was going through the town. It was a small town. And people watched, the village people, he mounting on the horse and he was going, he was looking like a king. And they asked, Yutan, from where did you get it? He said, the prince has given me as a gift. He said, you are lucky. You are fortunate. He said, maybe. The word he used, what? Maybe. And they said, we appreciate it. He does not appreciate what we have appreciated. So appreciation requires another appreciation. And what happened? The horse was new for a few days or there. One night the horse ran away. And village people found out Okay, the horse is gone. But meanwhile, one rich man offered him, okay, I will give you $10,000 if you want to sell. He said, no, I don't want to sell. I want, it is a gift. And the horse was gone. So the village people gave to give him consolation. Console. Okay, you done? That person was giving you 10,000. You did not sell that horse. It is your bad luck. You lost the horse and you lost money also. Otherwise, you would have 10,000. You would have sold the horse. He said, maybe. Maybe. The people say, when we appreciate it, he say, maybe. When we are here to console him, he say maybe. But the horse was so handsome. And after eight days, the horse came. Along with that, there were three other horses, she horses. It came with them. So there were four. And the village people knew that the horse has come back. And it has a three very female. Horses attracted to this very handsome horse. So they said, let us go. They all came. Yutan, you are lucky fellow. Now you have three extra horses. You are lucky. He said, maybe. <laughs> maybe. No, life is change. Every day we are changing and enjoy the day. Maybe. You have not to be unhappy because came and gone. It is, it is. But you are there, no? Things should not make you happy or unhappy. Appreciate. Take it. Enjoy it. To enjoy is one thing, appreciate is one thing, and to be Possessive and happy and unhappy is another thing. They are entirely two different things that a meditator has to know. And after the three horses came, but they were all white, so his son wanted to train these wild horses. And it is not easy to train the wild horses. 
and make them obedient and be in order. So he was training, 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 and in the training, the horse threw him down, and he broke. His son broke the leg. When the leg was broken, he became lame, and the village people knew. And villagers always go and give it. You thought you are you are a bad luck. Your son is hurt. The horses have come, but your son became crippled, and it hurt. You see, maybe what kind of person? Maybe he knew the things. Things are happening, but to be down or up, it is up to your mental state. There are two things. The person is not dumb. He knows that it is hard, but it is bad luck or good luck that not determine all the things. Bad luck you make with your mind, your emotional way. They don't make you bad luck or good luck. Luck is your because you are a good human being. That is your good luck. But things are there; they become comfortable or not comfortable. the so things are here they come and go our life should not be lucky and a bad lucky because of the things because of our existence is when something happen to your own inside that is bad luck what to the things when we have identified so much with the things so we are not able to separate ourselves from the thing or possessiveness or the uh, articles and within a year there was a war in the country and all the young people were drafted to go to the war and the whole town of the all young people were taken to the military and drafted but this son could not go because he was crippled he was uh, he broke his leg so all young people were taken to the military to war but he did not go because he was hurt and people now know ha ha our sons have gone this is the only young people remain in the town so they came ke lukan you are a lucky man your son is here our sons have gone and drafted to the military you are lucky he say maybe life we maybe things come accept enjoy appreciate but they should not make you bad luck or good luck good luck or bad luck to make is in your concept in your mind in your belief in your own expression and this is the one thing a meditator should know that i should not make myself lucky or unlucky because of the things something happen to your consciousness that is something very dear one is hurt that is that hurts not the things so the relation between the things and life are two different thing so when you understand this thing so you respect the life and don't hurt life and your relation with the remain so this song today we were just now we said this song you can make a song in your life originally 
it was sung in gujarati and in nation those who are gujarati they know song maitri bhavano pavitra charano but here i have translated into english so now you have the book so you can see that may the sacred stream of amity flow for even in my heart the sacred stream amity friendship with all living being be your friend not hurt yourself with anger jealousy back to no not hurt yourself be your friend the amity is a stream may the sacred stream of amity flow forever in my heart may the universe prosper such is my cherished desire as you wish good for yourself you wish good for the whole world whole universe and my mercy so in your meditation take the whole world in your arms and say let the whole world prosper and such is my cherished desire my desire is not only to be rich and prosper let the world also be along with me this is called appreciation the second thing is appreciating the virtue of good people quality of the other people and seeing some goodness in other we say wow oh, very good thing may my heart sing with ecstasy at the sight of the virtuous if you see any virtue in somebody admire it and when you admire you become owner you criticize you lose it may my heart sing with ecstasy at the sight of the virtuous and may my life be an offering at their feet if the good people are there we can offer ourselves can i will help you and people go they are helping many many people and we you see good people you go and help and i have seen many people i have seen in my life they come and help when i was in munich one day i lost my i missed my plane because the time difference i was sitting there and said well, how to do, do one german gentleman came and said it looks there you are in some problem i say yes because i missed my plane and i don't have extra money to stay in hotel because it was given by the uh, who invited me and he said who you are i say i i came to address three lectures here in the university and what i say philosophy he say my daughter is coming from uh, london and i am here to receive and she he done the uh, philosophy eastern philosophy and i she will be glad to see you come to my house and he offered he beautiful cottage and it's a lo- long story he kept him for three days there so the world i can see that many people are waiting for goodness so virtuous that is called appreciate may my heart sing with ecstasy at the sight of the virtuous may my life be an offering at their feet now the third poor people cruel people and miserable people we have to see we have something we have to share if you don't want to give something money you can give them food and help them so may my heart bleed at the sight of the wretched the cruel and the poor sometimes we have to have a compassion for the cruel people because being cruel to other they are becoming cruel to themselves to hurt other 
you cannot hurt other without hurting yourself so the cruel and wretched people uh, and the tears of compassion flow from my eye at that time we feel compassion and feel some feeling for them and how can i help so always you are extending your feeling your gift or whatever when you have and the fourth is may i always be there to show the path to the path the wonder of life yet they should not harken to me may i by patiently the fourth virtue is economity one day a man was a young man was smoking cigarette i went and i put my hand on his shoulder okay my young man you are smoking cigarette it is very bad it create cancer you are so handsome why you are to smoke that young man he said will you mind your business i <laughs> uh, so sometime when you give good advice and the person does not listen then you say go to hell <laughs> ha huh? but it should not come in your mind if you are following compassion equanimity okay that person does not understand he tells you okay it mind your business i say okay i will mind but i would i want to tell you i took my handkerchief and say you are smoking i want to see how it happens so when you are smoking how you smoke so i made a fun with this young man and said now this is a white cloth and he puffed so three four time and there was a nicotine the dot of the nicotine smoking can see on this handkerchief it make a what happened to your heart and that was a became a lighter i made the game he say i will try now so in this world you try to tell them and they don't listen they no need to be upset equanimity so this way this song may the spirit of good will enter all over heart may all be sing in chorus the immortal song of human concord the human welfare so this song be in practice and whenever you sing these four quality a uh, first is amity second is appreciation third is compassion and a fourth is equanimity these four quality we have to develop and be a real meditator to know such is anand i am i am consciousness and i am bliss to be in bliss is your nature and don't miss it be in bliss don't miss namaste shiva mastu sarva jagata parahit nirata bhavantu bhut gana दोषा प्रयांतु नाशम सर्वत्र सुखी भवंतु लोका शिवमस्तु सर्व जगत लेट देर बी ब्लेसिंग टू द होल यूनिवर्स लेट एवरी वन बी एंगेज इन वन दस वेल बींग लेट ऑल द फॉर्ट्स एंड वीकनेसेस बी इवेपरेटेड एंड बी वेनिश लेट एवरी वन everywhere be healthy happy peaceful and blissful